Howdy, folks. We have a fixed blade to talk about today, and I'm not going to go through all of the specs and measurements and everything like that, because this is really a, I guess we'll call it a custom. This was made by Thomas Hacker, who was on Forged in Fire. Now, this is not the first Forged in Fire maker we've had on the channel, because you may or may not know, because I didn't really make it a big thing because I had totally forgot until my buddy Alex at the Knifebox channel reminded me that Ed from Red Horse Knife Works has also been on Forged in Fire and I, dang it, I don't remember which season, but he was also on Forged in Fire and yeah, you can go look it up and see where he did and how he did and whatnot. Didn't, he didn't win. We'll just leave it at that. Neither did Thomas Hacker, but Thomas Hacker, from what I understand, and I did not go searching, uh, it was season seven, but I'm not sure of which episode. Uh, I believe he was the second place in the finals. So kind of cool. So I'm not going to go through all of the specs. I will compare it. I'll pull a tape measure out and we can do a couple of quick measurements. Um, but this was loaned in from Alex over at the um, Alex's Knives and Such YouTube channel. There will be a link to his channel down below. The sheath, I don't know if Thomas Hacker made the sheath or not, or if Alex may have had this made somewhere else, but it's interesting. So it is a Kydex sheath, and even the belt clip, if you, call, if you will, is literally just this plane of Kydex, rolled over and then rolled again, kind of U-turned to make the clip on the belt. It's interesting. It's not, not, not the way I would do it, but it's, it's a way to do it. And then it just has kind of rivets together. It's the sheet is okay. I, I would like something a little different. Here's another sheath from tour knives that is done better, but still not perfect either. And we talked about that in the video I did of this one. And this one actually is lined with suede. Uh, I believe it's suede. So it kind of, when the knife goes in, it, it I don't know, it's, it's different. It feels different as you put it in and out. So I'm gonna use that as a little comparison against this knife here as we go. So let me just grab, I thought we'd just do this one a little different because uh, just of, of what it is, but we'll give you a quick measurement here of it. So you're basically nine inches overall with uh, from the tip to the beginning of the handle, like four and a half inches. Okay. This is 1075 reclaimed steel. And what I thought was kind of interesting, not sure if it's going to really show up, but you can see the blade stock thickness here and back here. It really tapers down inside the handle. And then it gets wrapped with the paracord. So it's comfortable in the hand. I just thought that was interesting how it skinnied up all the way back here through the tang. I don't know. I mean, again, I'm not a knife maker. Um, I just handle a lot of knives. And then there's a lot of extra paracord underneath this side. So you can see it's a little bit uh, different. It's a little thicker on this side of the scale than on this side. So I, you know, whatever. I think it's a cool knife. You can see, I probably should have stayed zoomed in here. There is a maker's mark here. And I like this rough kind of pattern where you see the hammer marks and some scale there. And then it's kind of finished and polished here. I like that look. Kind of a handmade quality look in a blade that I appreciate. All in all, I think it's a cool knife. Alex said it was like 50 bucks, nothing super fancy. Um, but cool nonetheless, right? So if we compare that to the Tor... Keoseptic or whatever the heck it's called because I can't pronounce it. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the tour, but it's also... Uh, it, it's different, right? I mean, it's just, it's a different knife. 
So I think that Tour did some things wrong, and I talked about those in my video of this, where I think they did this. There's nothing really wrong with this knife. It's just a cool one-off, probably something he knocked out relatively quickly and easily. And um, probably made a few and sold them. I think it's cool. I just don't love the sheath. If this, if I was to have this knife, I would go to a Kydex guy and have a better sheath made. Other than that, though, it is a cool knife. So another couple of quick size comparisons before we let you go. Kind of a quicker video today. The Sharpie and the pencil. Since I pulled out the Hellraiser... How about the Hellraiser? About the same, a little bit longer. The Spider Codelica. We saw it next to the Tour knives already. And how about the D cell and the double A? All right. Thanks a lot, guys. I think I have maybe one or two more budget kind of cheapy knives from Alex to film, and then I can get those all sent back to him with a couple that I'm going to loan him as well because that's how the YouTube thing works. We help support other channels, and I loan stuff, and they loan stuff, and back and forth. So thanks for watching, everyone. Have a fantastic day, and please come back tomorrow. We'll see you then.